started on this beautiful, well, kind of beautiful Sunday morning. Bruce and I had a good walk. It was sunny, but it was starting to cloud over. I'd like you to start with your sit bones on the mat. <clears throat> if you can, do it with your legs folded. Feel free to take one leg out. Get your head over your tailbone. Let's be conscious about that. Let's just move our heads back a little bit. If you're not like naturally over your tailbone, drop your shoulder blades behind your back for ear, shoulder, and hip alignment. Inhale to the shoulders, exhale to the ceiling, and inhale down. <clears throat> exhale up, inhale down, and exhale up, and inhale down one more. Exhale up, and inhale, and exhale over to the first side. You're going to have your ear and your elbow in alignment with one another. You're going to push your opposite cheek down as you stretch across the lats, through the shoulder, through the hip, and get that big grab. You're going to hold it right there. Today, our, our um, workout's going to be a little bit energetic. We're going to kind of burn some of those pumpkin pie calories off while we do our, um, our flow. There's going to be some flow elements to it. All right, grab your ear and take your head across the loop and, and just feel that stretch. Make sure you stay in alignment. You want to push everything into that alignment position. So don't let the uh, shoulder come forward. You still want it beside your hips so that you get that full alignment. And then to inhale across, rotate your chest and put your arm out to the side. Very good. Put your hands down, lift your hand up and bring it around and come into your spinal twist and shoulders track. You're lifting up off your sit bones. You're not grounding down into them. You wanna stay off that lumbar and just do that rotation. Let's take another big breath as we rotate. Always add breathing for excellent stretching. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, bring it back, roll your shoulders back and roll your shoulders forward. Nice, switch your legs. Inhale up, exhale the ceiling, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale down. And exhale up, and inhale, and take it over to the other side. Again, make sure we have that shoulder and ear in alignment. We have ourselves over our body and not pitching forward. I want you to hold this for quite a bit because I talked last time, so we want to even that out a little bit. While you're holding it, you don't just hold. You really keep breathing and creating an effort to get more lift and more stretch in the hip. Good. Always look forward, don't look down, grab your ear, take it across and all the way. I was watching the Warriors yesterday and not much. I always watch like the last 11 minutes. And at one point, some guy grabbed the other guy's face, flagrant, you know, flagrant violation, but it was like, it reminded me of our stretches and then take it across in that rotation and hold it there. Hand down, sweep up and bring it around to a nice lifted body. Breathe and breathe and breathe and breathe. Yeah, we got that. And then exhale, inhale to prepare and exhale back to center. Inhale, bring the hands together, exhale, push it through, inhale and exhale. Your open back, keep your shoulder blades at shoulder height. Don't take them up to ear height. Look straight ahead. Make sure we're still putting that head over our tailbone. It's always a challenge for me. Lower those arms. Take your feet out to butterfly. You're going to open that diamond a little bit. We're going to hinge at the waist, putting our chest up past our toes. Good. And hold it right there. Make sure your head goes along with you. You don't lift your head up to look at the screen. You just want to reach out. Good. Inhale up and exhale down again. I want you, I want you to be breathing through all of this. You look so peaceful, not like the guy who had his toenail removed this week, huh? Good. Let's sit right there. All right, bring yourselves up. You're going to stay high on your sit bones. You're going to put those legs together and and show wipe from side to side, open up the hips. Good. A lot of the work we're doing is parallel today, but it is going to call onto, onto our hips. All right, let's put our feet out in front of us, so lift ourselves high up on that sit bone, get into our lifted position. We're coming down into our Pilates posture for the day. Bring it down vertebrae by vertebrae. You might remember that this is sequential, that you articulate every position your shoulders before your head. When you reach the bottom, lift your hips up, take them down the mat, crawl your shoulders up the mat, and we're going to put our body into Pilates position. Put your hand on your belly. Breathe your belly into your hand. Exhale. 
emptying that belly out, not pushing the lumbar into the mat, not tilting your pelvis in any direction, just get it open. You wanna feel a scoop right here. Let's do it again. And now, and exhale. Beautiful job. All right, the second and third quadrant of the abs go up and under the rib cage. So while you're putting the belly button to the spine, you're scooping up and under. So what you're trying to do is create this long zipper up your back, up your front. So inhale, exhale, tuck. Inhale, and exhale, tuck. If I don't do this every time, I kind of do my workout with my ordinary posture and it's not as effective. So I think it's really important to consciously put yourself into position every time. Hands on the rib cage, thumbs around the adipose tissue of the chest. Inhale out to the side, exhale, open up the back by closing the rib cage. We've got that east west spread. And you should be in Pilates position. Remember, we hold position, we don't hold breath. <clears throat> I want to make sure that you know what a curl up is. Put your legs to tabletop, keep them pointed. A curl up. You're above your shoulder blades. You're looking through the thighs. You're not looking at anything above the knees, right? Right through those thighs. So hold that position right there. We're going to tap down. So tap down your legs or sit bone width apart. Inhale down and exhale up. So in Pilates, we exhale back to the neutral spine. So you can feel <clears throat> your transverse abdominal working as you lift and lower your legs. That's the thing that Joe's Pilates figured out that your legs are run by your core muscles. So when he developed this workout for ballerinas, it was in order to make their bodies entirely strong to be able to do their movements and their jumps, their stretches. And he knew that it all came from the substantial core. Let's double time, let's go. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, so you're always reaching higher with your curl up, but not bring yourself completely off the floor. And last one and hold it right there. We're going to our hundreds. The hundreds will either be with your knees bent because you have back inserts or with your legs extended because you don't. You pump inhale, you pump exhale, and we get to 100. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 10. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 20. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 30. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 40. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 50. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 60. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 70. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 80. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 90. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, 100. Let's bring our knees in for a single leg stretch. Hand on the inside of the knee, hand on the outside of the ankle. You take the leg up if you have back concerns, you take it out if you don't, you switch and put those hands in the same position on the other side, inhale, switch, exhale. So you're always reaching toward the ankle on the outside. That's the thing to remember. This is one of the few positions that crosses the hip line. So allow yourself to bring that knee in as much as you can to get that pull from the back and it gets a really nice opening of the lumbar. Keep going, nice. Eight and seven, six, good. Five, really push it out. Four, so you can feel that extension from the tabletop. Three and two and one. Knees, lower your head and put your feet back on the floor. Great job. Make sure you drop those shoulder blades every time you go down. Hold that belly button to your spine. All right, we're going to start with some with the double leg stretch and we're going to flow right into other things. So, what we're going to do today is short sets that create movement from one thing to another. Short sets, you know, I usually do 20s. So, you know, that could be like eight. <laughs> so be prepared for what I consider a short set. All right, right leg to tabletop and left leg tabletop. Inhale, chin about chest, exhale, bring it all the way up. We bring our legs in and we reach toward our ankles. You extend on the inhale, 
you bring it around on the exhale. If you have back concerns, you extend upward and you bring it back around. So let's do this. So inhale and exhale. Don't look at your feet because that's gonna be hard on your neck. So we're going to try to be get some heart going today. Good. Three, two, one, hold the legs at that 45 position, take it out, down, and up. Good, you've got it. Nice, perfect, perfect, good job. So what if this is hurting your back? You take, keep going, everybody keep going. You keep one leg up, put the other one down and up, then the other one. So the standing leg protects your back, right? So down and up. Again, try not to look at those feet because you're gonna be lifting your head in the position that crushes your neck. Eight more, and seven, <clears throat> and six, last five, and four, three more, and two, and one, back to double leg stretch, stretch it in there, inhale out, exhale around, out, exhale around, out, exhale around, out, exhale around, five more, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, circle, down, and good. You're doing a circle that stays within the hip range, but is also a big circle. That means it's not cracking out to the side like a pendulum, it's staying inside the hip range and coming back around. Keep going. Take your legs as high as you need to if you wanna protect your back. 45 is ideal for this. I don't know how many we did, let's say 10. Reverse it, one, good, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, good job, nine, and 10 legs down on the floor, reach your arms overhead. Inhale up, exhale, reach, take it across, and reach, and lower yourselves back down. For those of you who need support, you can bend those legs, inhale up, push the legs out for the reach, take it across, you take it up, you don't lower down, reach it up and lower yourself down. Again, I'm gonna do the supported one for a few. Curl up, push it through, we're not trying to throw our bodies, take it across, lift it up and curl yourself down. Now I'm gonna go long way, inhale up, exhale to reach, Reach across and we stretch and we curl ourselves all the way down. Good. You curl, you bring it up nice and soft. You take it across nice and long. You reach back up and you curl yourself vertebrae by vertebrae. Don't throw yourself down. And you bring it up, lift, and you take it across, stretch, and you take it up good and you lower it down nice. And we're gonna do one more. This is this is our establishing exercise. Take it across. I want you to stop right here. Open your legs, put your arms up. One, two, center, one, two, center. Let me go front. One, two, center, one, two, center. One, two, center, one, two, center. Stay over your tailbone, head over tailbone. Stay on your sit bones. If you need to bend your legs a little bit to do that, go ahead. Your feet are slightly flexed, not really flexed. <clears throat> you're not pulling from your hamstring or your glutes, but you're keeping your toes toward the ceiling. One, two, nice. One, two, good. One, two, center. One, two. So pull that belly button to the spine when you come to the center. Feel that opening in the back of your hip. Two, center. One, two. We got four more sets. Four, <clears throat> four, three, and three and two, and two, last one, last one, bring the arms up and we go back to our curl-ups. So inhale up, exhale, ceiling, reach across, stretch up, we're leaning to four and bring yourselves down. Inhale up, exhale, ceiling, take it across, bring it up and roll yourselves back down. Two more, curl up, take it to the lift, Take it across and lift and bring yourselves all the way back down. Nice, keep going up, take it to the lift, reach it across, take it to the lift and hold it right here, bring your shoulders down, 
roll your shoulders into a nice drop shoulder. Good, and then forward, nice. You're going to put your hands down, point your legs and lift and lower. Lift and lower. Perfect, <clears throat> pull your belly button in. Nice, reach and reach, reach and reach. Shoulder blades, shoulders are down. If this hurts your tailbone, it shouldn't because we're not balancing on it, feel free to put a towel or fold your mat. Now both legs lift and lower. You can do this without your hands and that's when you probably will need the towel under your tailbone. Keep going, eight more, <clears throat> seven, good job. Six, point those feet, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it there, lower your legs, reach across, hold your ankles and lower your chest. Bring yourself around. I know we're moving pretty fast, but that's the idea today, just to kind of burn calories, get our heart rate up while we do this. I will slow you down. I promise the last 20 minutes, that was only 15 so far. <clears throat> Put your toes into your floor and take yourself up into a downward facing dog. Good, and hold it right there. We're just gonna hold it and catch our breath. All right, so now we're gonna take the leg that's in the back away from the screen across into a, a bent leg, yeah, across to a bent leg and lower our hip and lift down and up, down. Now, if this is too much of a rotation for you, just come down to the floor and lower your body and lift it, okay? Down and up, four more. Four, make sure that foot's bent. Three, two, and one. Now you bend your knees, down and up. So it's a plie, good. Four, good, five, Six, good job. Seven and eight. Come back to downward facing dog. And we hold it right there for four breaths. Four, three, two, and one. Knee goes across and we lower our hips down and one. Down and two. Down and three. Down and four. Five, six, good job. Seven and eight. Now plie. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good job. Seven and eight. Come back to downward facing dog. <clears throat> and hold it right there for breath. Leg comes up, opposite elbow. Go to your plank and lift. Blink and lift. Three, good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and lift. Other side, bring it down. Lift. One, good. Two, three, four, five, Six, seven, and eight. And hold it here and bring yourself to plank. And hold. Hip over, hip over, hip over. So if this is comfortable for you, there are two things to do. You can widen your legs, you can come down onto your elbows, or you can do it with one leg. So it would look like this, over and up for half of them, and then we're doing uh, eight, two sets of eight, and then over for the other half. So now you can do eight more, seven, six, five, good, four, good job, three, stay in your hip, shoulders between your hands two, or chest between your hands and one. Now bring the knees down, sit back into child pose, we're gonna take a quick break. 
Nice. I hope you're working up a little bit of a heart rate. Back to your plank. Hip, hip. You're touching each hip. Hip, hip. Now, we're trying not to rock back and forth. If we can't hold the core, keep hitting it. Then we lower, then we open our legs more because that stabilizes our balance. Keep going. Eight, <clears throat> seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Here we go. We're lowering ourselves to the mat, keeping our hands under our shoulders. We're pushing up and down. Open those feet wide and down. Good. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four. Good job. Three. Two. And one. Hold it here. Stack your hands, put your chin on it, lift and lower your bottom. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Good. Four more. Four. Three. Two. One. Underneath, we're going to lift the bottom and then the top. So lift and lift. Lift and lift. Lift and lift. Good. Nice, four more, four, three, two, and one, lower it down. And we're gonna start all over from the beginning. Take a nice deep breath first, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower, lift four more, good. Four, nice, three, two, one, stack your hands, chin on your hands, lift, lower the bottom, lift and lower, lift, try not to throw them, lift them, shoulder blades are down, eyes are straight down, keeping your neck neutral, four, and three, two, one, put your hands back here, starting with the bottom part of your body, lift and push, lift and push, good, nice, four more, Three more, two more, and last one. Push back into child pose and stretch. Thought I wasn't gonna give you a stretch, did you? And onto our side through some old fashioned pipe work. Elbow back, glutes back, legs off the floor. Tuck that hip under. Try to get that long line right here now. I know a lot of people push into their shoulder here. You're welcome to come down onto your bicep, right? So keep yourself lifted. Eyes ahead on the floor. Nice pointed legs. They're off the floor. You're only going to move the top leg up and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Nine. 10, reach with both legs up and up, down and one, up and up, down and two. As you do this and you're reaching for the top leg, three, up and up, don't turn your ankle, four. I know you want to reach that other foot. Sometimes we turn our ankle, five, and it makes our, um, it makes a lot of complications, six. So make sure it's straight, down and down. What's important good is this angle. This is what gives you your flexibility. So if you're down here, of course, you're going to have a hard time lifting that bottom leg. So get your hinge into action, arm overhead. We're taking them both up together, up and one, up and two, lift and three, lift and four, five, we're just going for 10, six, and we're starting at the beginning, but then there'll be a variation. We start with our base, Nine and 10, so back to the beginning. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Variation coming up. Nice, you got it, perfect. Five more, five, four. Keep that bottom leg pointed in and lift it. Three, two, 
one, hold it at the bottom and we circle. And 10 in one direction. Three, four, five, six. You can have your hand in front if you feel yourself. Seven, sliding back, eight, nine, 10, reverse it, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, lift and lower, up and one. Make sure the knees too always stay in the same direction as your hip, don't rotate. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, bring it down. You might wanna establish some support here, not bracing it, but support as you do both legs. Two, good, three. Now, one of the things that might be happening is you're twerking through that back shoulder. And if you're doing that, four, and you're feeling some discomfort, five, you can come all the way up, six, seven, right? Eight, good job, nine, and 10, reverse it, one, good. Two, you've got it. Three, four, five, six, seven. Good job. Eight, nine, perfect. And 10, bring your legs down here. All right. Open leg rocker. It's gonna be our transition to the other side. So go to the end of your mat, bring your legs in. Some of you, the open leg rocker is hard to do. And the modification for open leg rocker is just the preparation. So let's, I'm gonna point to you, focus on the preparation with you um, before we go into the rocker. All right, so you're gonna have your feet. Let's just get our knees in. You're gonna have your hands on the outside of your ankles, your hands on the inside. We're just doing this to get ourselves into position or your hands underneath your thighs. The idea is to take your feet off the floor and to open one leg up. Now, that's a hard balance for you. Put that other leg down and support yourself, right? And bring it down. Take the other leg up. Good job. And bring it down. We haven't done this in a minute, right? Take both the legs up. Oh, take, <laughs> yes, that's the answer. Take both legs up and bring them back down. So Pilates says, if you just hold your legs up like that, you're good to go if you can't do the whole rocker. Now I know that some people can't even do that part. So what I'd like you to do while we're doing the rocker is just exchange from one position to another so that you get it. For those of us who are ready to do the rocker, let's get ourselves into position. We're gonna take one leg up, then the other leg up. We inhale back and exhale right to this lifted position, right? Inhale back and reach. Good, inhale back and reach. Good job, inhale back and reach. Good, inhale back and lift. Pull yourself up, so keep going. What's really important when you get to the top is that you drive everything down and open up those hips in the back. That's what's gonna keep your feet up and not falling down. And that's what's gonna keep you up, keep going and not falling back into the mat. So drive that belly into the spine. Let's do two more. Let me get back here. Two, drive that belly in. And one, nice job. Lower your feet, stretch forward. Let's pike to the other side. Woohoo! Nice job. Point those feet up, they're off the floor. Tuck that hip under. Get your position, hand in front or hand up. Lift and lower, 10 only. Two, three, good job. Four, nice. Five, six, nice, seven, eight, nine, ten. We do the chase. Lift, chase it. Down and one. Lift, chase. Down and two. Lift, chase. Down and three. So I have a monitor up, down, and four that I watch myself on because the phone, which makes the best video, down and five is superior, so I want to see it on the six, and he's lying right in front of my monitor, so I can't do it, see what I'm doing, seven, lift, good, down, and eight, 
lift, nice, down and nine, up, up, down and 10. Let's do them together. Lift and lower, two, you've got it, three, good job, four, nice, five, six, perfect, seven, you might need to tuck again after this, eight, and what I mean by that, nine, and 10, check your body, see if the hips slipped forward and tuck it under, going to our baseline again, one, good, two, good, three, so I hope you're sweating a little, four, five, you might not be, that's okay, six, keep that bottom leg pointed and lift it off the floor, seven, eight, good job, nine, good, 10, lower it down for the circle, one, nice, two, Is the, are we getting tired, three, four, you're not going to move, right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and reverse it, one, and two, good. Three, four, good. Five, perfect. Six, seven, eight. So look straight ahead. Nine, not at your feet. And ten, lift and lower. One, good job. Two, exhale down. So you get that whole line. Three, four. You want to really feel it and make sure you're tucked. Five, six, seven, good. Eight nine and ten now that aspirational circle one <laughs> two remember you can come up here if you need to three good four or stick with one leg five six seven keep the feet tight and pointed eight nine and ten reverse it one good two three good job four nice five good Six, perfect. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come all the way up. Back to open leg rocker. All right, so we're going to turn ourselves around. Again, you know your options for this. Everybody else, one leg up, the other leg up. Hold those ankles as you go back. I always have to slip behind my thigh and lift back and two good back and three now we'll keep going one of the things you want to uh, don't want to do is curl on your neck four so you go to your shoulders five you're still in a curl up six nice seven eight nine good job and ten and hold it right here take the arms away knees come in and one. Now, if you need to quick, put a towel under your tailbone for this three, four, keep going, five. I don't want it to be any thicker than the first fold. Six, seven, keep pushing out. We're gonna still do stuff here. Eight, like this, nine, or this, 10. And bring your legs into a circle, one. Good, circles are hard, two. Good, you can put your hands down if you need to. Three, four, five, this will be eight, six, seven, and eight, reverse it. One, come on, the effort is what's gonna give you the workout. Two, maybe not accomplishing it perfectly. Three, but the effort will get you there without breaking form. Four, five, six, good. Seven, nice, and eight, and bring yourselves down. Okay, that's enough of a marathon. Now we're gonna slow it down. <laughs> no, that was crazy. I'm gonna separate your legs outside your mat. So they're outside your shoulders a little bit. Put your heels into your floor. And then we're gonna lift into our table and then lower down, nice and slow. And lift and lower. This is almost like a vacation compared to what we're doing. Don't worry, stuff is happening. Good, lift. I want them, I want them nice and wide and lower. Now, you know it's sequential. We come up vertebrae by vertebrae. We start at the heart, we go through the mid back, go to the lumbar, go to the glutes, and then we lift up again. We don't tilt the pelvis. We don't squeeze the glutes hard. That's not our prime mover. Our prime mover is 
the transverse abdominal. That's why when we inhale, we exhale, we pull up through there and we lower down. Nice, keep going, lift. It's nice to settle down into something familiar and slow after that, like 20 exercises in 40 minutes. Good, and down. Nice, well, if we can our stretching 30 minutes, lift. And down. Good, and lift. And down. And this is going to be our last one. And we're going to hold it at the top. Make sure your heels are into the floor, your legs are wide. We're going to push together. One, two, three, stay lifted. Four, five. We didn't get any inner thigh when we we're doing side. Six, seven. So this is going to help us. Eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine. Stay lifted. Eight. It's hard to stay lifted during these movements. You're not bouncing up and down. And that's 10. Now you're going to drop them all the way out and bring them in. All the way out and bring them in. Stay in your lifted position. Now, if it doesn't work for you to be on your heels, just get on your feet all the way out and bring them in. That's definitely more stabilizing. So if you need to be more stabilized, flatten your feet. Good. Take it out and in. You're opening as far as you can. Good. I have to get on the mat a little bit because my rug is a little slippery. Eight more, good. Seven, good. This shouldn't hurt your back. Six, but if it does, don't go so far. Five and four, stay lifted. Three, good job. Two, hold it out there. One and pulse downward. 20, 19, 18, feel that? 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it out there, hold it out there, and bring it back to the top. Now we're going to take one leg on the other. It's still wide. So this is going to be tricky. Down and one. Because when we usually do this, we're in a parallel position. Keep going three. And so we get support all along the body line. Here we've cracked that support a little bit because we're outside of our parallel position. So this is kind of cool. Seven, eight, good, nine, lift it, 10 more, 10. So keep it wide. Feel it in that one glute that you're moving. Seven, good, six, nice, five, four, nice, three, and two, and one, and hold it up there in the lift. You're gonna put this outside hand on the floor. You're gonna take the other hand behind your head and you're gonna come across and center. Two, stay lifted. Three, complicating, right? Four, five, back to center, six. Don't lie all the way down, seven. You're kind of holding on one shoulder blade, eight, nine, and 10 more. Good, stay lifted, 10. Is that glute starting to cry? Nine, it might be, it might not be. Eight, good, seven, six, good job. Five, four, nice, three, good job. Two, and one, hold it here and lower it down. Let's go to, get that leg wide. Let's go to the other side. Heel on the knee. All right, you ready? You can, again, you can have flat foot or you can be on your heel. I like to be on my heel because I like to get action in the back of my legs. It's just kind of a private, personal desire. Which <laughs> You can join me with one, two. Look at the ceiling. Make sure your head is in good position for, oh, that should have done a little bit. Five, six, come on. Seven, you've got it. Eight, nice. Nine. And 10, we're isolating these sides. 10, nine, you've got it. Eight, keep pushing. Seven, six, nice. Five, push. Four, don't forget to breathe. Three, you've got it. Two, you're gonna hold it up here on the one, arm behind the head, take it across. And one, across. And two, you come back to the center, you don't come down. Four, center. Five, center, six, nice, seven, eight, nice, nine, and 10 more. Good.
Good. 10, 9, good. 8, perfect. 7, 6, 5, 4, good job. 3, and 2, and 1. And lower your butt down, lower your foot down, put your feet flat. Put your hands at your side, drop your shoulder blades, nod your chin down. And then three really mindful, strong breaths before we go on to the next sequence. Keep your feet where they are, put your hands into your side and bring your upper body up. You put your hands under your shoulders. Today in roller, we're doing upper body. So this is gonna all be very, very relevant. All right, we're gonna lift ourselves up into reverse tabletop right here. Just hold it right here. And then and then massage your cramp. All right, just hold it right there. I got it in both in the backs of both eyes. So there we go. Because guess who didn't have her, her potassium drink this morning? That would be me. That would not be Brewster. He's dead asleep now. All right, right here. Stay that lifted. Now you want your feet to be square <clears throat> under your sure you can see that. Under your knees. You're lifting your glutes. Your head is in a neutral position. Your hands are under your shoulders. Just keep yourself nice and lifted. I think holding this is a lot of work. All right, we're going to lower our glutes and lift by bending our elbows and bringing it up. It's a little tricep work, right? You're going to do 20 of these. Three, nice, four, good, five, six, seven. So you want to make sure you get right back up to that reverse, uh, modified plank or reverse tabletop. Ten to go, ten. Make sure you bend your elbows. Don't just lower your glutes. Eight, good, seven. Now, if you're feeling some six, stress on your shoulders, come down and just do it here. Five, four, good, three, good job, two, and take yourself all the way up on one. You're gonna take one foot over to the other side and lift and lower. Two, just 10, three, four, five. The trick here is to stay lifted, six. So you wanna stay up there, seven, keep it high, eight, nine, and 10. Other side, lift it up, one, Good, two, nice, three, good job, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Lower it down, keep yourself lifted, walk your glute down, stretch your legs out, put your hands out in front of you, reach back and lift. Bring your arms forward as you reach back, up as you lift. Now, they don't go straight over your head. They go over your eyes. If you bring them over your head, you get into shoulder tanginess, and we want to stay right into a fluid place with our shoulders, especially since, keep going. This is a small thing, but I want to talk about it. When your arms are together, your shoulders are more stressed because they're expanded way out, right? When they're apart, they're parallel. We have our hands together, so we want to make sure that we're <clears throat> Uh, respecting the stretch in the shoulder and not overdoing it so that we get some shoulder disturbances, right? So if we were out here, it would be, it would feel totally different, right? But we're doing it with that shoulder stretch. Four more and three more. Good. And two more. Now hold it back here and then we're going to open the shoulders right here. We're going to turn right and center. That's left, left and center. Three, stay in your reach back. Four, five, your open shoulder now. Six, <clears throat> seven, eight. So as you noticed in this last few, I'm going after those obliques. Nine, good, and 10, hold it here. Make sure you do a big inhale and exhale before you go to the other side. Your feet are pointed, they're almost off the floor. One. Two, three, yes. The eyes, the head goes with it. Four, you don't just move the arms, right? 
You want to get the whole upper body to move six, seven, eight. That's important to know. Nine and ten. Now we're going to do side to side, nice and slow, right? So, what you're basically doing is your Christmas dinner, hors d'oeuvre, hors d'oeuvre, drink, drink, fruitcake. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. No, I don't get it. Good, I keep going. So you're really rotating above that, above that waist, and you're getting a lot of work in that upper body in ways that we really need it, in the serratus and in the ex and internal obliques and in all of that naughtiness in our shoulders, naughty with a K, not like Santa's list. Four more. Four and three and two. Now hold it over here onto the side. And we're going to complicate it some more. We're going to lower it to the floor and lift it to the shoulders. Feel that stretch. Again, keep those arms wide. Yay, we're doing upper body on the roller today. Good. Five more. Five and four. This looks like nothing, right? But you can really feel it come across. Three. Oh, that's two. One all the way over to the other side. Down and up. Again, shoulder width apart. You're looking through the hands. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep breathing, nine, and 10. Bring it back to center. Bring your hands behind you. Scoot those legs in. Let's take a deep breath right here. Your hands are either toward your glutes or out to the side at this point. You're going to take one leg up, the other leg up, and cycle outward. Good. Now, if you want to, of course, you can do it without your hands down. If you need to, you can go down to your elbows. If you need to, you can go down to the floor. You just want to keep those legs pushing out into a pointed position, making a circle. You're in a big circle, right? Circle, 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 circle. Good. Nice, now reverse that circle. We feel the scoop ups. You can feel the scoop up, feel the scoop up, feel the scoop up. Good, nice, five, nice, four. And have your hands down, three and two and one. Nice job. And last thing, we're going to lift ourselves into some high reaches with our legs. I'm going to start you here so you can take it from a stretch. I'm going to show you what you're going to do, and then I'll come back and show you the modification. Take it from a stretch. Put your hands at your side into a lift, and then bring it back into a stretch. If this isn't for you, everybody who it is for, keep going. You go into the stretch, put one leg down, lift up, and bring it, and go back to the stretch. Put the other leg down, come up. Got it? All right. Everybody else, we're reaching forward. We're taking up and down, reach forward. Now remember that up goes through your back and down. You don't throw the whole thing up. You go through your back as you reach and down. Keep going, five more of these. <clears throat> reach forward, five, reach up and down, four, reach up and down, three, I feel like I'm gonna hit something, reach up and down, two, up and down. And last one, can we hold it up? <laughs> yes, we can. Good, and lower yourself down. Bring your knees into your chest. Put your arms in cactus and just hold it right there. Drop your knees away from the screen and let it stretch. Stay, stay in the cactus. So, like I said, Today's goal, after we did all that mild stretching yesterday, was to get your heart rate going a little bit while we did these exercises. Nice, and then come back to center. Put your knees together and your feet apart. I wanted to incorporate circles because circles kind of get like a plank, they kind of get your entire body, but they also include the obliques. So it gets along both sides of the obliques. All right, knees are together, feet over heart, right? Okay, take a nice deep breath, make sure your shoulder blades are down. Now put those feet together and those knees apart. 
Nice. And put your feet flat on the floor. Take one leg up. Rotate the ankle one direction and then the other. I want you to crawl yourself up and bring the leg toward you for four breaths. Right now hold it. Don't want to stiffen your arms, so make sure your arms are soft. We talk about that all the time. Just keep holding it. Put your outside hand on the outside of the, the foot. Bring the knee down beside the shoulder. Lower your head to the floor. That feels so good. And the more you can push it down, don't let the hip come up. The more you can feel that groin stretch, that inner thigh stretch, bring it back up. Make sure your knee is okay. Put your hand behind your knee to bend it and bring it into the chest. Good, and lower it all the way down. Bring the other leg up, rotate the angle in one direction and the other. You walk up, walk up, walk up. Four breaths, we inhale and exhale lower. We inhale and exhale lower, this one's not moving. We inhale and exhale lower. And again. Nice. I love that I put my clock where I could see, you know, getting 22 seconds stretch and stuff like that. It makes me happy rather than to make the time up, inventing my time. And good. Now put your hand on the outside of that knee and bring it down. Don't let your body rock out of its uh, neutral pelvis. Just keep doing it. And then bring that knee into the chest and bring it all the way down. Drop the knees toward the screen. Drop the hand toward the screen. Bring yourself up. And let's go into our straddles. So if we decide that we want to stretch class on New Year's, I'm going to do a different sequence of stretches so that you'll have roll your shoulders back, opportunity to save those, and then you'll have a whole body stretch, all right? Walking forward to begin. Slide and slide. Feel the stretch. Make sure your feet are facing the ceiling if you need to bend your knees a little bit. That's fine. Elbows should be soft no matter where you are. So if you're here, if you're stuck here, I really still like you to soften your elbows because you want to get that stretch and you want to get more of that flexibility. So no matter where the stretch goes for you, and again, um, you can use a strap or anything. I just want you to keep the upper body as flexible as possible. Good. And bring yourself back and we're going to put frame the leg and slide out. Again, we're not straightening the arms. We're looking down at the ankle or wherever you're looking to. The other cheek stays down. The other leg still stays pointed toward the ceiling. Okay. And bring yourself up and then slide over to the other side. and bring yourself up. I think we need one more spinal twist. Let's layer our legs or bring them in a little bit, whatever your body can do. Get your body, head over tailbone, arms out to the side. You're going to rotate first, put the outside hand on the thigh, then bring the back side hand to your glutes and bring yourself around for that big stretch. Inhale to prepare, exhale, bring it back to center. Good, and switch legs. Yeah, we always do that. Arms out again, we're gonna rotate first, hand on the thigh first, the other hand behind you, and let's lift into that stretch. Inhale to prepare, oh, that feels good. Exhale, bring it back in. We're gonna put our legs under us and bring ourselves up to the top. Nice. Kick your legs up. And we're doing a lot of work. Good. So the washing machine does the upper body, so I'm kicking out the lower body. All right. Separate them, turn around slightly, and then wash, wash. Good. You know this is the end of the routine. Is that why you woke up? Eight, seven, six. I have another class. Five, four, sorry. Three, two, and one. Come to the center. Breathe up. And down. I'm not concerned. He already had a hike today. 
And last time, thank you for coming to Sunday Morning Pilates, everybody. Again, let me know if you want a New Year's Eve stretch or New Year's Day stretch class. It